They wrote, my brain. Uh, then Katie sends us this hilarious picture of our son. She says his first day of school, excitement wore off by day three. Face first. We all know that how that goes. Stay up late and watch Housewives. And you get exhausted the next day. Steve? I don't know about that. It's all right. All right. Thank you very much. Dinesh D'Souza's hit documentary takes on the Democrats as the party of corruption. It is about to come out, so you can watch it if you haven't seen it yet on DVD soon. That's right. Uh, the film is also making a hit out of an original song by Grammy winner Larry Gatlin. Listen. <laughs> Here to tell us about their collaboration is director of Hillary's America, Dinesh D'Souza, and country singer Larry Gatlin. Hey guys, congratulations on the success of this movie. Dinesh, how did the two of you meet? Uh, I was in Nashville to uh, give a lecture, and uh, I had a chance to sit down at one of those barbecue restaurants with Larry Gatlin and a few other guys, um, and we uh, really hit it off. Um, I told him that I was an immigrant from India. Uh, that I believed that America was a country with ladders of opportunity, uh, and that I was making a movie about the Democratic Party um, that showed that the Democrats have been kicking out those ladders of opportunity for ordinary Americans. Um, and so I think he heard my story, he heard what I was going to do, uh, and he said, I'm behind you 100%, and if I can help in any way, uh, I'd love to. And so that's where we concocted the idea for a song to close out the movie, the movie is kind of a horror movie, and I didn't want to leave people <laughs> scared or depressed. I wanted to leave them fired up, and Larry's just the man to do it. Yeah, uh, well, the, the movie, the documentary, Hillary's America, the biggest documentary of this year. Larry, when you were charged with writing a song about Hillary Clinton, what were you thinking to yourself? What rhymes with Rose Law Firm? Things like that? <laughs> oh, I, I can rhyme uh, claw hammer and dirt clod. I mean, you know, you can figure out a way to do it. Well, I, I've learned from some of the greatest songwriters in the history of the world, I hope I've learned my craft, to have uh, Dinesh ask me to help him was a great honor. And, and I've known about Dinesh uh, for 15 or 20 years. My dear friend John Seaman, one of my uh, a great Marine uh, uh, back from the cable business years ago, introduced me to Dinesh's work. I thought he was railroaded on the deal with uh, whatever his little kerfuffle. She's in the movie. Yes, talks about it, the little uh, dust up there. And, and realizing that the Clintons, uh, before their first cup of coffee on Monday morning, they do more illegal crapola than Dinesh. That's a technical term, Steve. <laughs> uh, than, uh, than Dinesh ever did. So, uh, I believe that she's a criminal. I believe uh, that she has been one for 30 years and her whole uh, bunch of uh, sycophants and lemmings that follow her around. Uh, the next time she tells the truth will be the very first. And anything I can do. See, a lot of my fellow entertainers will ask them to be on the deal. And I understand their deal. Yeah. Uh, they have careers. I don't really have a career. I have a job. Now, the man who loves a job is always on vacation. Sure. So I'm thankful to God for the job. But I really can't be fired. I'm getting my social security, I get a few royalty checks, and a few people are still coming to hear our little songs about doggies and horses. So I don't care what they say about you, me. You and your brothers. I'm going to do it. I'm not, a minute. No, I'm not afraid of them. I'm going to do what I think is right. Dinesh, we've, you know, we know about the email scandal. We watched your movie, and you see the scandals that she's involved in there, too. So when she comes out and says she has pneumonia on Friday, and she continues to campaign, and then now uh, Bill Clinton's interviewed and says, we don't know what's wrong with her. We've been trying to figure it out, and we're just we're baffled by all of this. I mean, how do we, how do we trust that it really is pneumonia based on all of the other scandals and, and lies? That's a good point. Uh, the, the Clintons have been such uh, pathological liars. I mean, lying from everything about how they got their name to incidents that you don't even have to lie about. Uh, and therefore, when it comes to a case where they may, and I italicize may, be telling the truth, uh, we don't really know if they are. And so yeah. that's part of the problem. Can we have a chief executive officer who we can't trust even at the most fundamental level? Sure. Dinesh, what is, you know, I don't want to give away the whole movie, but what is her end game? Because you do discuss that in your film. I think the end game, quite frankly, is Hillary wants to be 
uh, I might say, the female mob boss of America. She wants to do to America exactly what Al Capone wanted to do to Chicago. So what did Al Capone want? He wanted to loot the treasury. He wanted to give contracts to his buddies and cronies. Uh, he wanted to get rid of his opponents and push them to the side. And he wanted to walk in the big Chicago stadium and hear the whole crowd chant with cult-like intensity, Big Al, Big Al, Big Al. That's pretty much what Hillary wants for America. All right, uh, check it out. It is uh, soon to DVD. Hillary's America. Dinesh D'Souza joining us from San Diego. Sir, thank you very much. Bye, friend. DVD on October 11th. Now, coming up next, what do we have? We got Larry Gatlin and his brothers right over there. They're going to perform the song, Stand Up and Say So. What, what? could be better? Huh? Well, right. first, Larry, let's toss it over to Martha. She's upstairs because her show's starting soon. Hey, Martha, what's coming Hi, up? Hi, Martha. Hello there. Hi, everybody. How you doing this morning? So it's a busy morning all around. Congress is preparing to question three people who reportedly are connected to the destruction of Hillary's Blackberries and her email. So that's going to be an interesting conversation. Congressman Jim Jordan joins us to talk about that first before he heads into the hearing room. And RNC Chief Ryan's Priebus and Trump campaign manager Kellyanne Conway, both on deck with their reaction to the latest Hillary health issues and that old basket of deplorables when Bill and I see you at the top of the hour.